a really exciting time, not just for the planet, but for American businesses, American consumers. Utilities in the U.S. are on track to be fully renewable in a matter of decades, according to a new study from CU Boulder. We are on track to decarbonize the electric sector by 2060. There's all this evidence that's come out in the last few years that the sustainability, the energy transition is happening faster than a lot of people predicted. And that and a lot of what's driving that is the private sector. While shifting away from fossil fuels like coal can be a political minefield, the paper's authors, Grace Crager and Matt Burgess, say often it's utility companies themselves moving forward on green initiatives. The bigger ones actually, whether or not they were saying it, had a big commitment to some of these renewable practices. That transition could impact how reliable our energy is. Reliability is harder with renewables, intermittency of wind and solar being an example. There are some areas where it's easier, like with solar microgrids, right? If everybody has a solar panel on their house, powering their house, and the power lines fall down, you might be, you might, you might be fine. And the cost also depends on reliability. Gregor says it'll help to find greener ways to store it, like with wind and solar, even when it's not windy or sunny. And continued research can help to lower costs too. And the technology has been improving and becoming cheaper faster than people predict. Crager says this transition toward a greener energy grid will be slow, but a renewable energy future is on the horizon. The more that we see a win-win between the energy transition and the economy, the more it's going to have unstoppable momentum and also make our lives better, uh, both now and in the future. The study's authors say the U.S. would actually hit their carbon-free electricity goals a whole 10 years sooner if they counted nuclear energy. Now, right now, they don't count it, even though it's a big part of our energy sources. They say as the country transitions to renewable energy, we'll have to decide if we want nuclear to continue to be a big part of how we keep our lights on. All right, Rachel Krauss reporting.